The return of the St. Lucia Jazz and Arts Festival also brought another round of lamenting from one unsatisfied local artist. Singer-songwriter Mo Sherry has for multiple years been critical of the makeup of the jazz festival. The St. Lucian-born singer has been part of the music scene for over a decade, with collaborations with Dantel Sensation Vibes Cartel being among her notable work. However, she believes that not enough is being done to highlight a diverse group of St. Lucian-based performers like herself at main stage jazz events. In response to these concerns, Minister for Culture Dr. Ernest Hille conveyed that jazz facilitators are open to engaging in discussions with Monsheri and her team regarding potential bookings. However, he emphasized the importance of a professional approach from the singer. The ways of doing those things, you, you don't get a booking on Facebook. I mean, that's not exactly how it is done. Um, people have their, 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 their managers and they have persons that will make the connections for them and to make sure everything is in place. But I mean, we don't discriminate and, and we're always available to consider the best. She's always welcome to St. Lucia and always welcome to the festival. Additionally, the minister revealed plans to continue to highlight local acts at jazz events moving forward. Last year we really we made a determined effort to have more locals on main stage and this year you will see um, last year we had Tennyson and Ace, this year we have Ezra and Afa and next year we'll continue to give St. Lucians more opportunities both on main stage and it's really to create more space for them to show what they're capable of doing. It is yet to be seen whether more Sherry will grace the festival stage in the near future. For Choice News Now, I am Quinn Sejis.